The Vulti XP54 Swoos Goose emerged from specification R40C, issued November 27, 1939, attracting 13 competing firms with nine proposing pusher configurations. Vulti Aircraft Company's Model 84 design triumphed over the Curtis XP55 Ascender and Northrop XP56 Black Bullet, securing a development contract January 8, 1941. The radical twin boom pusher featured an inverted gull wing with 24 degree swept center section, incorporating Nake's ducted cooling system that eliminated external radiators. The magnesium alloy fuselage housed two 37 mm M4 cannons and two .50 caliber machine guns in a pivoting nose section, moving three degrees up and six degrees down without altering flight attitude. When the Pratt & Whitney X-1800 engine program was canceled, the troubled Lycoming XH-247-1 was substituted. Mission requirements changed to high-altitude interception in September 1941, necessitating pressurized cockpit, twin-right turbo superchargers, and heavier armor. These modifications inflated empty weight from 11,460 to 18,000 pounds. The unique pilot access system reflected pusher constraints. The electrically operated seat functioned as an elevator, lowering through a ventral hatch for ground entry and emergency egress below the propeller arc, adding significant weight and complexity. First flight occurred January 15, 1943, revealing disappointing performance. Maximum speed reached only 401 miles per hour, 160 miles per hour below projections. The pusher configuration demanded excessive runway length, nearly 3,000 feet, due to limited angle of attack capability. When Lycoming discontinued the XH-2470 engine, proposed Allison V-3420 substitution would have required extensive modifications. The second prototype, 42108994, flew May 24, 1944, featuring a single General Electric turbo supercharger instead of twin right units. After minimal testing, it was cannibalized for spare parts. Engine problems and parts shortages terminated the program in summer 1944, costing $1.5 million. The XP-54's failure marked the end of America's piston fighter era and Volte's final aircraft before merging with Consolidated in March 1943. Both prototypes were scrapped, leaving only test data as reminders of this ambitious but unsuccessful attempt to revolutionize fighter design.